Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be going over everything you need to know before buying a pair of Oakley sunglasses. So first off, Oakley originally was founded back in 1975, and they actually started off by selling grips for BMX bikes. And then eventually the company evolved to start selling goggles and then eventually eyewear. And from the 80s all the way to the mid 2000s, Oakley was probably one of the best sunglass companies out there. Ray-Ban was struggling through that time period, and a lot of other sunglass companies really were having issues and Oakley was really dominating the market and their quality was definitely top notch. What set them apart from the competition was all their sunglasses were being handmade in USA. And again, the quality was just absolutely fantastic and the brand had a lot of momentum behind it and everyone really liked the style and the frames that Oakley was producing at that time. And again, in that time period, people saw Ray-Ban Aviators or some like classic Ray-Ban style and thought it was kind of like their grandpa sunglasses or their dad sunglasses. It wasn't very hip, you know, modern or trendy or anything like that. And it definitely wasn't, you know, athletic, it wasn't sporty. So pretty much all the cool kids at the time were definitely rocking a brand new pair of Oakley sunglasses. But in 1995, Luxottica, who now owns Ray-Ban, actually tried to acquire Oakley. And one of the things that they did is they actually stopped selling Oakley sunglasses in a lot of their different stores like the Sunglass Hut. And unfortunately, that put Oakley in a very bad situation. And Oakley was actually able to pull out of that situation by buying and creating its own uh, Sunglass Hut equivalents. And those actually were pretty successful. And this was seen as a major success for Oakley and a pretty big blow to Exotica who actually haven't yet acquired Ray-Ban. So it was a big blow to Exotica and a big win for Oakley. But unfortunately, fast forward to 2007, where Oakley ended up selling to Exotica for a huge amount of money. And that was a big blow to a lot of people who loved Oakley and people weren't sure what was going to happen with the brand after that. But to the surprise of many, Oakley actually seemed to uh, still be making their sunglasses out of high quality materials and everything was still being made in America for about 10 years after they were originally acquired by Luxottica. Now fast forward to 2019 and more and more of Oakley sunglasses are being produced in China and no longer the USA. And it's just a shame because the quality definitely is going down. And they're also producing more uninspired designs that just look very normal and they also feel very cheap and plasticky. They don't feel as premium as they used to. And over time, I've just been falling out of love with Oakley, and they're just not quite the same as they used to be. I definitely recommend, if you can buy a pair of Oakley sunglasses, I recommend picking up one in America. They just had a lot more life to them back then, and now they just seem generic like every other pair of sunglasses. And I'm just not the biggest fan of Oakley right now. I hope they're able to turn things around and just step up the build quality, because honestly, there are so many better brands than Oakley right now, but that's where we are right now. We have some very uninspired, uh, crappy, and relatively cheap sunglasses coming from Oakley, and I'm definitely not a fan of this. This is my entire Oakley collection. I've definitely downsized. I've reviewed a lot of the newer models, but I've sold them almost as soon as I got them, just because they really didn't do anything for me. There's, there's a ton of other sunglass companies that do a lot more for me than Oakley is right now, and Overall, they're just a decent pair of sunglasses. What's probably best about Oakley is they are very durable and they do have polymer lenses, which are going to be great for, you know, athletic activities and sports. And they're all just going to fit the face very good. And if you drop them when, you know, biking or if you drop them when playing volleyball, you don't have to worry about it. You just pick them up and put them back on, where if you do that with a pair of Ray-Bans or something else like a pair of All Peoples, you're definitely going to have a problem and you could very easily break your $400 pair of sunglasses. So it definitely still is a space for Oakley, but unfortunately for me, they've fallen out of grace. And for me, the brand really isn't doing anything for me anymore, which is definitely a shame. I don't hate Oakley. I still think they make okay sunglasses. I just don't think they're worth the money. I also do believe that Oakley's prices are kind of ridiculous. You know, $200 for a plastic pair of sunglasses, just a little too high. If you do pick up a pair, I definitely recommend checking them out on Amazon. You can save $50 or $70 all day long on Amazon. So I will have a link in the description down below if you guys do want to check out Oakley sunglasses on Amazon. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Do you guys agree with me or do you disagree with me? Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this video or what you guys think about my opinion of Oakley. Do you guys still like them? Do you not like them? Again, make sure to them in the comment section down below. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.